Well, right now, the Piedmont is feeling the pinch of a national doctor shortage. Yeah, more people are gaining access to health coverage, putting an overwhelming strain on physicians to keep up with that demand. But in the middle of this crisis, a different medical career is finding that now more than ever, it's become part of the solution. There will come a time when Murphy Houston and Megan Anderson will do this for real. What did you focus on whenever you started doing an examination? Family history. Right now, they are students in High Point University's Physician Assistant Studies program. More patients will have access to the healthcare system now, and there's going to be a need for um, more providers, specifically PAs, um, can fill that role. It's great to know that you're not only going to have a job, but that you also get to change the lives of other people. A worsening physician shortage has led to an unprecedented demand for PAs. Up to 80% of what a physician does in a primary care setting, a PA can do. And so they fill a huge niche. It's estimated that North Carolina, which has about 2,700 family practice physicians, will need 2,000 more by 2020. A lot of physicians are now going into specialties, and so there was a higher need for primary care providers. A lot of physicians and providers now practice in bigger cities and I think that's hit North Carolina pretty hard. That in addition to retiring physicians and static medical school slots. PA Chase Michaels graduated from Duke in 2009 and works at a Novant Health Pediatrics office. Basically you have to have a supervising physician at all times but you still have a lot of autonomy so you know, I can, I see my own patients. The physician assistant training track is shorter than it is for doctors. An MD or DO trained family practitioner, it's a seven year journey. You can get somebody, uh, and that's after college, after college. It's a two year journey for a PA. So you can rapidly get more manpower or woman power into the workforce in a timely fashion. Although you only get your masters, um, you are still basically going, you know, studying and lectures, going to the lectures just like a lot of the medical students were. These are very intelligent, highly educated healthcare providers that are filling a niche currently, but I can okay. see the role so continuing to expand. Provide.